Hey guys! Today we're playing Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Now, before we go out to the overworld of Nino Kuni, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the game. Uh, this game came out a little earlier this year, if not the end of uh, last year. But I got it about two months ago. It is a PlayStation 3 exclusive game. You can only play it on PlayStation 3. The style of game it is is a Japanese RPG. Um, it has various elements from different RPGs. It's got the overworld, like with Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star, uh, games like that. And then it's got areas where you know you go into the towns and you can do quests through in the towns. Now the battle system is kind of like, I'm trying to think of other games, but I know Final Fantasy XIII had this kind of system. Uh, it's like Final Fantasy XIII mixed with Tales of, uh, Tales of Vesperia, Tales of Graces, Tales of any of the Tales of games, where when you get into battle mode, you have free, free roaming ability, uh, where as you can move around in the confined space, but you have a kind of a turn-based real-time attack system. You pick your attack, you'll do your attack on the enemy, and then when that's done, you'll pick your next attack. Now this game uses two different ways of fighting. You can use your familiars, which are little creatures you can find to fight alongside you, or you can just go at it with your character, whose name is Oliver. He comes from the I'm trying to think of what they call it, but they call it you know his world, and then the uh, other world is where the the little companion comes from, whose name is Mr. Drippy. So the whole story of the game is in his world, Oliver's mom gets killed. He has to come to the other world to try and save her, because in the other world there's a soulmate for each person that's in the uh, in his world. So he's got to come save his mom and defeat the White Witch, who is the reason that she's dead in the first place. And you've got uh, you're you're a wizard, so you got a wand. You can do magic spells, things like that. So now that we're three minutes into the video, we're, I'm going to stop talking and show you how we play the game. Now we're getting into a battle. Come on! Now before every battle, you can either pick to go it solo as Oliver, or you can use your familiar, whose name is Mighty. Now the the thing with familiars is they have stamina, so as long as their stamina is going, they can they can stay out. But their health is matched with your health, so if he's losing health then you are also losing health so we're gonna use our familiar Here goes. and as you can see you've got attack cut loose and then defend cut loose is kind of his uh, magic uh, attack but we're gonna start with just regular attack and once you hit that it pauses you got the option to pick who you want to attack first so we're gonna fight the Ouroboros snake character So that was quick work of him. We're going to use Cut Loose. That was a one hit kill. And obviously starting out you don't get very much um, XP. Because I'm really early into the game. We can do this. I haven't really done anything uh, special yet. But I'm going to stick with Oliver. And since he's a wizard, he's got wand, his wand powers. So we got Healing Touch, where he can heal himself. 
or we can do fireball. And I think we're going to do some fireball on rough. No, that didn't do much. I'm just going to use normal attacks on them. And one of the things with this game is, while you're not in the overworld or fighting monsters, you're doing quests for people that have broken hearts. And what that means is, when someone has a broken heart, you're trying to figure out what you can do to, I guess, mend that heart. Like just recently, there was a Cat King, and he had a broken heart. And he did not have enthusiasm. He was just loafing around and sleeping. So I had to find somebody that had lots of enthusiasm and borrow some from him and then go to the king and share the enthusiasm with the king. Now this is the uh, Ding Dong Dell town. This is the first town you find in the game. And what we're going to do is continue on with a quest. I just uh, revived the king and gave him some enthusiasm. And he was looking for a wand for me, but has gone missing. So what we got to do is go back to my world and... Uh, and find his soulmate and see what's going on. So we're going to use the spell Gateway, which will let me transport back to my world. Alright, so we're looking for Timmy the Cat and on our map we can just kind of follow the star it's gonna be in the milk bar And one of my favorite things about this game is the animations, like the cutscene animations, are done by Studio Ghibli. And Studio Ghibli, if you've never heard of them, they make movies like, I think their most popular one would probably be My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, I believe they have one called Castle in the Sky. Um... The, bar the Borrowers is one of their most recent ones. And their library is actually quite large, so there's tons of movies. And here's a little ghost girl in my, in my uh, house. And then one of the... Uh, things with Studio Ghibli is they get a lot of high profile actors to do their voices to do uh, voice acting in their movies so if you look up you know one of their movies you'll probably find quite a few actors that you know
So she apparently knows where some cat is. And we're gonna follow her. See if we can find this cat. It's kinda hoping there'd be a cutscene in here. Just so you can see uh the art style. But oh well. If you're interested, just kinda look up on YouTube the Nino Kuni cutscenes and you'll see what I'm talking about. So he's got the cat, and we're going to head back to town. So now we know where the king is. There's a uh, area in the town where it's overrun by mice, and that's where we can find them. So with that, we're gonna cut off this little uh, gameplay video. I know there wasn't really much going on, but. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll have some more coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.